So now we're going to quickly look at how we can change columns both in list views and in orders. So what I've done here is I've just come into the sales order section of my system um, and I'm going to go through a couple of ways that we can personalize the columns and the view that we're seeing now. Okay. So one of the columns that I want to add in refers to location. Okay, so if I'm working um, across multiple sites, it's useful if I'm dealing with a customer to know where their goods are going to come from. Okay, so what I can do is I can click on personalize um, and then I can click on field. Okay, um, and then I can search for just location. Oh, sorry, location. There we go, location code. And I can just drag and drop that. So very easy to do. Um, but you can see from here just how many fields you have the option of uh, bringing in. So it's just a case of, of having a look through and seeing what you can also pull in that's going to be useful to you as a business. But that's that's all I'm going to do. Um, we're not using locations in the system. This is just an example. Okay. Another thing we can do, and I shouldn't really have come out personalized there, is we can also move where the freeze pane is. So when I scroll across now, the only thing that's going to stay in place is the number of the order on the left. But if, for example, I wanted to set the freeze pane here, so it included the customer name, I can click set freeze pane. What I'll probably do uh, is remove this information fat box as well, um, just so that when we actually no, let's not remove the information fat box. So when we scroll across, it's keeping the uh, customer information on the left as well. Okay, so more applicable if you're using many more columns, um, but just to at least gives you an illustration of the way that you can change things so that they fit your preference. Okay, so I'm going to move it back and set that free to pane there. Okay, now what's quite useful about personalization is you don't have to click personalize every new area of the, the you don't have to click personalize every time you move to a new area of the system rather. So if I click on um, a datum, instead of us um, now personalizing the list view here, what we're going to do is we're going to personalize uh, some of the columns that we see on, on our order lines here. So we can see we've got location and code, we've got quantity and, and amount and all those sorts of things. Um, but what is sometimes useful, um, and, and many of our customers will, will do this, is if we are working with, say, different VAT um, calculations, to, depending on whether our customer is you know, in the UK or overseas, or whether a particular customer will sometimes transact VAT and sometimes not, um, we can add in VAT posting to, to this particular order. So I'm going to go in, I'm going to click on field again. Um, fields that are relevant to the lines, as you can see, because everything here is highlighted. Um, and I'm just going to add in um, my VAT posting group here. So let's just go in for VAT product posting. I'm going to put that next to unit price excluding VAT. Um, click on there. So it's pulling through the standard VAT from my customer information. Yeah, so standard VAT based on them being in the UK. But for example, if we want to zero VAT something, um, we can click to say that this is now zero VAT. Um, and we can see that the order will now update. So another example of how personalizing the order screen um, can help with your workflow.